That is cold coffee. Um, I, I don't even know if I want to get into it that deeply. So I, in posting my first check-in video, I really just wanted bare minimum bottom line for these videos is I know when I feel really low, you feel so alone and you feel so isolated. In all honesty, I hope this video for someone is just an I hear you or it's okay if you're not okay or if you need a hug, maybe it's like a virtual hug. I just, feeling alone when you're already not doing well is just one of the darkest things, I think. And it's something that you know isn't true. I know that when I'm in a bad mental state, I know that I can reach out to people and I know that I have people in my corner. It's just hard, it, you know, for me, I feel almost, I don't wanna be a burden. Like I said in the last video, I wanna be strong. If someone's having a good day, I don't wanna reach out and pull them away from that. There's so many things that run through your head and there's so many reasons that you can think of to say, no, I shouldn't ask somebody for help. I hope everybody has someone who they feel that they can be their true selves with and that they can really let their walls down and they can have those difficult conversations. I'm really thankful that I have people like that in my life. My hope for anyone and everyone watching this video is that you have those people too. You know, and if you have people that you want to be close with or you think you're close with, but maybe you can't be truly who you want to be, or maybe they don't support the dreams you have or things you want to do, I just want you to know that it's so hard to hear and it's honestly frustrating to say, but it really is just time. It takes time to build what you want to build, whether that's a career, relationships, friendships, and unfortunately, sometimes it takes wading through finding out what you want, who you want to be with, what you want to do. There are definitely missteps and mistakes and people who will let you down. In, in the process of me opening up more, even just with my friends, it can still be intimidating. It can still be kind of daunting. The process of finding what you want and who you want and the people you want to be surrounded by it can be overwhelming. The end of last year, as I said, was very difficult. And that obviously still lingers in my life now. It's definitely gotten better just through my consistency of trying to check in with myself and journal and everything that we've talked about. No, that's not to say I still don't have bad days and hard times. For example, you think you're on your way to being over something, you know, letting it go and finally feeling kind of free from even just giving it a thought. And then for me, it just, it came back up. In the moment, I felt all right about it and I felt good about the conversation that was had and not that it was a bad conversation, it really wasn't. Like sometimes you want the confirmation that, hey, I'm not crazy, like this is actually what's happening. And then you get it and then it just sucks. One thing I know that I spoke about in my last check-in, but I have a feeling it's gonna be a consistent theme because <laughs> I thought I was pretty good at it. I don't think I am anymore. The need for me to change my mindset, it's wild. I think I am pretty optimistic, but I think I'm pretty optimistic in my life for other people. Sat down a few times was just kind of talking to myself and just trying to figure out like why can I be such a cheerleader for people in my life but I can't be my own cheerleader. I show up so much for my friends or at least I really try to. Just everything that it is to be a good friend to somebody who might be going through it or just has some conflict or something they need help with at work like whatever the case may be I'm like got you let's do it like break it down for me what are we working with but then i realized i would be in my own situation and i'm just over here like oh my god like i don't know if this is gonna work do i take this job do i even want this job well what if i take this and i fuck that up and then this person's gonna be mad at me am i happy doing this like oh also in the back of my head like maybe you're just not doing well overall because like this other shit is going on in your life. It all kind of like works together to kind of just make you feel like you're doing a shitty job at everything, which isn't true. 
I just kind of had this aha moment of realizing I find it so easy to be that person for somebody else, but not for me. My goal for this video is to just talk about setting intentions and setting goals for ourselves for this month of February. It's a short month, we can do it, it'll be great. For me, it is all about mentality and it is about, you know, I'm just tired of being scared. Like I was saying before, what if I fuck this up or what if I don't do this well and this, you know, there's the what if game is horrible. It's a dangerous game, I shouldn't play it. I know that, but here I am. My goal, for the month of February is to take more risks and be scared professionally. And I wanna talk more about this at a later time just because I am in the middle of a few different things professionally, but I wanna find joy in what I do again. And I'm starting to, so I want to continue that. I think something that will help that is to just take risks. Even, you know, not even just professionally, in life. Another goal is going to be when I have these negative thoughts creeping in, I wanna pull myself out of it. I need to refocus, regroup. I am just gonna have my little pad of paper or my phone. I'm gonna write it down really quick, say what I need to get out right then. No, like just stream of consciousness thinking write it out, write it down, get it out of my brain, and let it go. And another goal I have is, look up the author's name, five second rule by Mel Robbins. So I would look up the five second rule if you don't know about it. Um, and it's just something I want to apply more in my everyday life. And I think it'll also be cohesive with my other goals. Now that everybody can see me better, that was a lot. Okay, five second rule. Oh, setting my intentions. I had been having a hard time showing up for my friends. And honestly, that is something that just doesn't sit well with me. And it, it honestly just makes me kind of upset with myself because friends are so important to me. Friends are a lifeline for all of us. You know, I'm currently going through uh, a transformative time. I understand logically that I need time too and that I need to make sure I'm okay. It's not easy, it's not fun. And I don't ever want any of my friends to think because of what I have going on in my life that it, it, it's affecting our friendship. I think it's normal. I have a fear uh, that if I take time for me that somehow I'm gonna lose that friendship, which isn't a fair thing to put on yourself. I know that some friendships don't last a long time and they can be really difficult to let go of. Don't want to speak on it quite yet, only because I don't want to give my opinion or advice or really anything if I don't even fully know how I feel about it yet. My goal for February I just don't want to think about it as something that's like, hanging out with my friends is not something that needs pressure. My brain is trying to put pressure on it. <laughs> and I'm like, I want to be intentional. And I want to see my friends more one-on-one. -on -one. one of my intentions is to just become my own hype woman again. I mean, I'm a big fan of myself. I don't know why or where it changed, but you know, one thing, one thing I remember growing up is just the, the classic fake it till you make it. If you tell yourself that you're confident and you should be in this room or applied to whatever situation, it really works. I think that's kind of how I'm looking at my mentality right now. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe you are sad and maybe you are going through something that really hurts. Or you know, maybe I'm just having a bad day and there's no real rhyme or reason to it. I think if I spent less time dwelling and just being sad that I'm sad, I just need to be like, no. Oh. I don't mean it in the sense of suppress what you're feeling. I hate that. Obviously, I said it in my last video. Sometimes our brains might be conditioned to think about something one way because we've been stuck in a mindset for however long it takes, I don't really know. But if I can trick my mind that already feels like it's being tricked by however I got to this place, maybe I can trick it back. I know there are moments where I can literally be saying to myself in my head, stop. Don't dwell on this. So in those moments, I just wanna be able to really listen to myself because I'm there. I'm saying, you know, one part of my brain is yelling at the other, telling it to just let it go. In those moments, I think, acknowledge what's going on, write it down, do what I need to do to let it be out of my head, but still be somewhere I can look back 
and if I need to dive deeper into it, I can. That's what I wanna work on for February. There are, thankfully, multiple avenues that can be taken to address mental health and find help. If anyone you know or anyone you think might be struggling, I would just say to check in on your friends. Let's all be a little more kind. Kinder? More kind. Is it kinder or more kind? Future, you know, kind of tense about it. We could all be more kind. Right. Is that, but you can also say we can all be kinder. Well, this is just I'm not helpful. Listen. All jokes aside, just be kind. Hope everybody knows that they are loved and I hope that everybody has a really good week. Thank you so much for watching and I will uh, see you next Monday. All right, <laughs> I feel like a schoolgirl.